good old trusty Fiesta Zetec S getting me to an above meet. Win win. <laughs> Hi you lot, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Now excuse the nasally kind of voice, I've been in bed ill for the past two or three days but today I'm feeling a bit better thank god and today you join me once again at another bad above south coast meet but today I don't know how they wangled this right but this isn't the first time they've held a meet here. Today the abaths are parked amongst Ferraris on a Ferrari dealership here in Lindhurst. So yes, that's right, Bad Above South Coast are holding an event at Ferrari dealership Meridian Moderna in Lindhurst. This is so, so cool. The Abaths are parked amongst Ferraris. We've got the Ferrari dealership in the background. Loads of Abaths on a Ferrari forecourt. This is amazing. I've parked a Fiesta elsewhere because I'm carless. That's the car I've driven today. My parents are here in their bath. Theirs is just there parked up. And yeah, it's gonna be a cool meet. We've got Ferraris here. We've got a Porsche I'm stood right by as well. And of course, plenty of a bath. So let's see what's here. So that's, well, you've got a couple of a baths parked over there. Some Ferraris, my dad's over there actually. He's eating something. And then we got plenty of a baths on the main Ferrari strip itself. So as I always say with these local meets, a lot of the regulars come along. So for example, we've got this couple here, they've got a bath each. This one here is actually owned by Luke. I actually work with Luke. Luke kindly took me to another bad bath meet, which was before this. I say kindly took me to, I invited myself into his bath and he took me to a bad bath meet, the one before this. But he's actually here today. He's got a nice space on the forecourt and he's got the lovely checkered roof on this one, which I am a massive fan of. And we've got the white and red combo, absolute classic. I like your finger. I am a fan of the podium blue, so that one's just arrived. So we've got these two here, tucked up amongst some Ferraris. Dad's eyeing up that one there. You've got a lovely bi-colour. I am a big fan of the bi-colour, the black, white and red. Competizione. So my parents' one's actually by one of the front doors here. Right next to a lovely adrenaline green. And then we've got this one which I've seen before plenty of time, the red and the gold wheels, and we've got the rare white leather in that one. Another the one there. The baths do look good without the front number plate, but unfortunately that can't be had on the UK roads. So what's oh it's this outside bit lighting up. Those scorpions are lovely. I can change it all from my phone though. So if I go on here, I can do cyan, red. Oh, so you're changing the colour, yeah, I see. Yeah. You haven't got a front splitter on her either at no, the moment, have you? Yeah. You're gonna get one or yeah, I mean this is my first car. <laughs> <laughs> It's a wicked first car though. Did you buy it completely standard? Yeah, yeah. it had the standard grey 16s on it. Yeah. So bought these. What kind of shape? They're like those or uh, um, wheel? Yeah, on. Oh, Chris's the first road. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah I don't, I'm not really a fan of that. Yeah, was I. No. Yeah. yeah, so not spacered, but you've got BC racing coilovers and the mad Aquapovic exhaust, isn't it, on the back? Have you colour coded these as well? Uh, no, they came like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got the good specs, got the pan roof on it as well. Oh, I love a pan roof. Yeah. They've got the Aquapovic tips in there. And last time I saw this car, the spoiler was white and it's now been wrapped black. The roof's been wrapped as well then as at the back yeah, yeah. section. We are the first three people with... What, the black? With, yeah, yeah, so that's like... all powder coated black instead of chrome. Oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant silicone. Yes, yeah, so that's yeah. normally chrome, isn't it? Yeah. So you got the powder coated black. Yeah. Is that from a forge? Yeah. yeah. We have another classic white and red combo. Absolutely love these Lego box battery covers on the bus. Very clean. I like this one. It's got the Maxon Design splitter. And I like how they've had got one of those hexagonal plates on the front. Bath badge overlay. This is pretty cool. Black mirrors, smoked side repeaters. Gorgeous tan leather. I'm such a fan of that. And um, we've got a spoiler extension as well. Don't think I've seen this one before. Here's a Turismo. We've got the uh, kind of uh, side spats on it as well, side skirts. So you have this gorgeous Abarth 124 here, automatic like what I used to have. But instead of this having the heritage wrap, it has been wrapped where these would have the heritage wrap, if you understand what I mean. But someone's actually wrapped this in carbon, kind of, I guess, fake carbon. But it looks, it kind of messes with your eyes a bit, but it looks really nice and rigid. So I think actually the carbon wrap instead of the heritage wrap that some of these did come with, or heritage paint, shall I say? I think the car one's actually a thing. Makes the car look really aggressive, especially on the bonnets. Look at that on camera. That works, that's cool. We've seen that one before. Yeah, that Alfa Romeo. A little trio hiding down here. Got a nice windscreen wrap on. Oh, this is one of the luminous fluorescent green yellow wheels. But this is all a new addition to the front, I believe. The 
uh, sun strip and the windscreen tint. Now this is really nice. I haven't seen this one before. So we've got the white and red. That's just a standard front lip. But they look like they've done a lot of colour coding on the front end to make it all white. And you've got the upgraded headlights by the look. They're definitely not standard. Now that's what they've done. So all of this would be plastic and they've painted it white. They painted that bit white as well. Black logo bar, bath badge overlay. And they've colour coded all the plastic on the front. So that should be plastic and it's not. That's pretty cool. And then on the rear, they put a scorpion sticker inside the rear lights. Pretty cool. A bath mud flaps and we've got an exhaust system there which is unnamed. So I'm not sure what it is. I like that, the way they've colour coded all the front end. That's different. This one might be a Turismo got the press plates and the Italian colours on the splitter there. And they're a bath stripe, we've got the bath letter in like that, like the yellow in. This one's got red leather in. Found a bath south coast sticker of course. Black roof convertible, uh, magnetic Morelli tips. Don't think I've seen this one before and it looks like it might be a Ferrari edition because it's got the Ferrari edition stripe. So let's just have a little look. Black leather. No, it's not. It's a manual. I believe the Ferrari editions only came in automatic. No. So it is a Turismo, but you've got the kind of Ferrari editions stripes on there, which I actually really, really like. The record monitor on the back is standard. Has got that on it, so maybe it's a look alike. Look how nice and glossy that red's looking. Panoramic roof, of course. Onto a winner of that one. A couple of competitionis. Got the yellow here. Cool plate. Bye. Got a magnetic Morelli exhaust on the rear of this one. I do like the more motorsporty looking wheels. Can't remember the name of them. You've got the yellow Brembo's to be on the front. Aha, there we go. They're showing off the uh, carbon back save out seats in this one with the gorgeous yellow stitching. That's really nice. I've got to show those off. I like that a lot. Now, I believe I've seen this one before. Black comp with yellow additions. Brembo's again, gray side stripes. This one's got the black leather in it, representing again around with from what I can tell. Nice addition on the rear as well, Forge Motorsport I guess this has some goodies probably underneath the front under that bonnet thing you know. And then a lot of these I've seen before belong to the admin members of the group. Flags blowing proudly in the wind here outside a Ferrari dealership. How mad is that? That is Sarah's, <laughs> keep calling her Sharon but that is actually Sarah's a bar. Got your name right in this one, a nice one Sarah. We've got Sammy's all blacked out above here, founder of the group. Uh, we've got another Compositione convertible here. The roof's just going back on its own. I wonder who's doing that. That's kind of freaky. Can't see anyone that's doing that, so that's a bit weird. The gorgeous tan say belts. We've got Daryl's red above. That rather special SS is here as well. Nice to see. We've also got this modified Punto, I've seen plenty of times before, but it's now rocking the silver wheels, Calibra silver wheels, which I think silver does actually suit it. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up here because we've got some family down. We're going to go and explore the, uh, the town of Lindhurst. Just got another amazingly sounding bath leaving behind me. Yes, yeah, it's been a wicked meet at a Ferrari dealership. We've had a bath meet at a Ferrari dealership. I can't stress that enough. It's been really, really cool. Been in the Ferrari dealership as well. Really nice posh toilets as well I must say so really great meet again once again thanks to Bad Above South Coast all the links to join their group are in the description to this YouTube video and I hope you've enjoyed watching this one it's been a great array of people here and cars of course and I'll see you in another video